Hi friends, my name is Mary Grace. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited. You guys, we're back. We're finally back with season two of Heartstopper. I say finally. Um, if you haven't seen my season one reactions, um, I only watched Heartstopper back in June. <laughs> I say finally, I've only waited two months. <laughs> You guys, all all of you Heartstopper, like, hardcore Heartstopper fans are like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you say finally? It's finally for you, not finally for me. <laughs> if you don't know, I have not read the books. I did not know much about season one going into it. I know even less about season two. The only thing I know about season two is that I believe we're going on a little trip. I believe that part of it takes place in Paris, which, ha ha ha, wee oui, wee, oui, gay Paris, the most fitting place for this show to go on little travel vacation. I don't know if it's a vacation or a trip. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But like, the best place for them to go is gay Paris, because we got a whole bunch of fun gay shit in this show. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm very happy. End of season one, Nick and Charlie became boyfriends, officially. And Nick came out to his mom as bi, and that was really sweet and really beautiful. And I love that there's bi representation in the show. And Charlie stood up to Ben, freaking Ben. Oh, I'm... I gotta get my fighting gloves back on. I am gonna be ready to fight some stinky little bullies. I don't know if we're gonna see Ben. I don't know if we're gonna see Harry. I don't want to see either of them, but I feel like we're probably going to see both of them. And I'm gonna fight them. If who, I really don't wanna see Harry. Like Ben, I can understand why Ben is so cruel and why he's so full of hate because a lot of it is like targeted at himself but he's just projecting it onto Charlie because it's easier to project it onto Charlie than it is to deal with his own feelings and his own sexuality. I understand that and I think that there's could be some if we do see Ben if we get a little bit of a storyline for Ben this season maybe we could get some like growth and development maybe a little bit of progression in Ben as a person make him a little bit of a nicer human that would be great I would love that for him Harry on the other hand I don't think there's any hope for Harry um I hate him and I don't want him to be here <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> that's that's all I gotta say about Harry I don't like him I don't want him here <laughs> That's it. Imogen, my fave girl, she's just, I love her. Imogen is the delusional girly representation and I love that for us. And I hope we get more of her because she was very entertaining. She made me laugh so much in season one and um, I want her to have a fun storyline. I want her, I want good things to happen to her. She was kind of going through it at the end of season one. So I hope that we get some good stuff, some fun stuff for her. Maybe she'll find a little Parisian boyfriend. Little cute Parisian boy for Imogen. Would love that. Also, this season, I need something to happen between Tao and Elle. They left us on like very kind of uncertain grounds in the end of season one. I feel like we were on the precipice of something happening but neither one of them made a move. I don't know if we're gonna get that in this season. I really hope so. I, I really love their relationship. I really love their friendship. And like we know that they want more from each other. They both want more. So all we gotta do is take that step to it being more. And then everybody could be happy. We're going to be watching the first two episodes today. So we're going to start with season two, episode one, called Out. Stop it! They each took two of the pictures. I love them. Who keeps their alarm on vibrate? 
I would never wake up to that. I go a little high with the heart. Good morning, boyfriend. I'm in love with them. <laughs> I'm gonna be so annoying throughout this, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I just, I love that this is just like, it's so happy. And it's so different from the way we started season one, but it's like the same sequence of walking into school. I love that. Where's Nick? Where's Nick. <laughs> Hi, playfriend. Hi. 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 <laughs> Where are they going? You skipping out on form? To make out? I'm okay with it. Guess what? What? I came out to my mom last night. Oh wait, this is right after, oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again, I think they, they look like they give the best hugs. Want a well done kiss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, kissing at school is a terrible idea. <laughs> Keeps doing it. Hi. Things are, lots of hey. things are happening. Hey. Lots of kissing. Oh. Look at how happy they are. There's so much kissing happening. That was cute. Stop it. I love them. This is making me so happy. <laughs> the little fireworks. That was our first little animation. I love them so much. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> yes, we're all fully aware. And he's amazing. And he wants to come out. <laughs> to some of his friends, at least. As long as you're both fine with it, and you're looking out for each other, I'm sure it will be fine. Tell Sue, are you giving Charlie relationship advice? <laughs> ah! Root! <laughs> I know lots about relationships. I watch a lot of romance movies. <laughs> the vibes are strong between them. Ugh, Ben. We are seeing- Oh, Harry's there too! Look at us! Hi Imogen. I have something very important to show you. What is it? I want her to be happy. I named him Brooklyn because that's She got a puppy! Someday. And I really want him to meet Nelly so they can be best friends. <laughs> He's absolutely adorable. We're still friends, aren't we? I promise I don't fancy you anymore. <laughs> I love her. Also fancy someone else now. Oh, don't tell me it's Ben. Is she only gonna like queer boys? <laughs> if anything actually happens, I promise I'll tell you. And if you have any romantic developments, I want to hear all about them. Is he gonna say something? Okay, no, not yet. Oh God, who's he gonna sit next to? Freaking Ben, I knew it. At least it's not Harry. I'm not happy that it's Ben though. You're just gonna ignore me for two weeks then? Yes, you suck. I said sorry. Charlie for what no, you didn't. didn't talk about him. I hate Ben. I hate Ben so much. You know, if you're trying to keep it quiet, you should probably stop acting so gay, Ben. I seem to remember saying something about no shutting. Nick didn't do anything. That was all Ben. If you're gonna slam a ruler down anywhere, slam it on Ben's desk. Is he gonna rejoin rugby? I want to rejoin the Yay! rugby. Yay! Baby boy. Oi, you come back to rugby? Yeah. Yes, lad. Oh, good. I don't know what that person's name is, but I like them. What? Are you still in a mood of them? Yes. <laughs> Let's go, lads. We've been playing like girls lately. I already want to punch Harry. Charlie, pass the ball. Let's go, let's go. And again, and again. Nice. Good job, Nick. Oh, never mind. Don't look at me, I know nothing about rugby. <laughs> How is literally the worst person to have a crush on? Sometimes I think he might like me back, but other times it's, it's probably just how being weird. No. What if you try to actually flirt with him? Just to see what happens. Yes, look. <gasps> yes, put it out there. Put the vibes out, test the waters. A little flirting can't hurt. My mom's been moaning at me to get a haircut. Guys, cute on. But it would look cute short, too. <gasps> you should do what you want. I love their little, like, yellow electric. Stop it. The play with the... Love. I'll see you tomorrow. 
Come on, Tao. You know you want to be more than friends. Me too. I want that for you. I got you a present. What? Why? <laughs> because we've been going out for two months. As in, it's our two-month anniversary. It sounds silly when you say that. No, but it's so cute and sweet. Stop. Thank you. I love them so much. I love them so much. Stop it. Y'all are making out in the locker room, babe. Careful. <laughs> Got a little carried away. My face is gonna hurt from smiling so much. This is so cute. I love them so much. And everything about tonight needs to be perfect. Are you getting greedy? <gasps> no, is this the first time Nick is coming? I'm helping Nick come out to one of his oldest friends. Oh. Wait, is Imogen coming over? <gasps> Shut up. Wait, this is gonna be so fun. I really hope this goes well. Does she uh, know about you guys? Not yet. I'm gonna tell her today. It'll be fun. She's an ally. <laughs> She's not homophobic. She's an ally. How did you get to know everyone? Uh. Well, um. I guess it was Charlie first. Um. Because me and Charlie, we're. You don't have to say anything you don't want to you know, say. We're in the same form. Uh, and. Um. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> She's like, okay, cool. I don't know why it's so hard to just say it. It is. It's it's weird. It's it's like I don't know. Cause even if someone's just like, yeah, I'm an ally, you never know how they're gonna react. You know? Wait, tilt your head a bit to your left. That's your right. <laughs> no, not like that. Look at me. Oh my god! Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. I think they're both way too in their heads. Stop. Because they'll do like cute little flirty stuff, but then like when the other one flirts, they just like pull back. <sighs> I'm nervous. Charlie, can I use your bathroom? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll show you where it is. You do whatever feels right for you, baby. I am so proud of you either way. I love them so much. I'm just... <sighs> I, I kind of had something that I, I want to tell you. What? It's, it's kind of hard to... Is it about you and Charlie? <laughs> it's just... It is kind of obvious. <laughs> you didn't like me because you're gay. Uh, well, I, I, I'm bisexual, actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was worried she was gonna get weird. Okay, well, now you know about Charlie, you have to tell me about yes. your crush. Oh, yes! Oh, come on. Is there any I just, as long as it's not Ben. Or Harry. Oh, fine, okay. It's oh, I knew it! <sighs> She's gonna be a beard. <laughs> Baby. The leaves are back! Ah! Yes! I love them so much. I love, look at the face! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I can't believe people think you're straight. That's what I was saying all throughout season one. I love them. I love them. Uh, Charlie, I signed that form for the Paris trips on the fridge. Oh, thanks. This is the first time we're seeing his mom. You know my friend Nick? Yes? I thought I probably should tell you. He's my boyfriend. Gay or bisexual, uh, Nick is banned from sleepovers from now on. What? Yeah. There will be no hanky-panky <laughs> in this house. Please don't say hanky. <laughs> Bedroom door open at all times. I'm leaving. No hanky panky till you're married. <laughs> no hanky panky till you're married. You're telling people then? Yeah. 
and you're not worried about getting bullied again. I'm gonna do everything. Oh, I can. you can see she's so worried about him. Look at how happy he is. I love him so much. Don't let anything bad happen right now because I'm gonna be so upset. I can make sure that he never feels pressured, stressed, scared. I love him so much. Everything's gonna be perfect. Okay, that's a lot of pressure though. Oh, she's so worried. Oh, I'm so worried too. Okay, that was episode one. I'm just like, my face, literally my face is gonna hurt from smiling so much. I'm so happy that they're so happy and i'm just like i feel like i'm just gonna be waiting for the other shoe to drop i i feel like i don't know i'm so nervous that like something bad is gonna happen and that it's gonna like mess with all of the happiness i just want them to stay happy i want them to thrive I'm so proud of Nick for coming out to Imogen. I don't know what Imogen sees in Ben because Ben's not even a good person. So I don't know where that came from. I think they're just doing that for the drama kind of a thing. I don't know if that's gonna go anywhere, you know? I don't know. I don't want Imogen to like be a beard with Ben. I just, I want, I want good things to happen for her because I do really love her. She's so sweet and she means well and I think she needs a good group of friends like this I'm glad that they like invited her over for their little like sleepover night because you know I think she needs she needs a, like a group of friends that's just like that just like loves being around each other and it's not full of toxic assholes it's also nice to see more of Tori this season to see like since we had that really sweet moment um in the last two episodes of season one where you know, Charlie was getting bullied again and she was really, like, you can tell she's, she cares so much about him and she loves him so much and she's so worried about anything bad happening again, about the bullying starting again. And I love that Charlie was, like, talking about how he wants to protect Nick. That's really sweet. And I just, ugh, I'm really happy right now and I hope that that continues. If it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. This show takes me on such an emotional roller coaster every single time I start to dive in. Yeah, I'm just gonna. We're gonna keep going because I need to know more. I need to watch more. I need to see more of my sweet baby boys being happy and in love. Even if they haven't said it yet, I know they're in love. How could they not be? I love them so much. I'm in love with them for them. We are gonna get right into season two, episode two, called Family. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm nervous. Charlie's always been a high achiever, but in the past few months, his grades have been slipping across most of his subjects. Because <laughs> he's looking at his boyfriend. You completed your history coursework essay. If you don't finish it, then that'll be a failed grade. You need to start focusing on your. Uh oh. I know getting your first boyfriend is very exciting, but. What? It's not Nick's fault. Charlie. Well, I think you and Nick need to spend some time apart. Oh no! That's not what? Fair. We are not banning you from seeing each other completely. No, it needs to be a complete ban until this coursework essay uh -uh. is handed in. Nick is not allowed around our house, and you are not allowed around his. I don't think that's fair. I think that's just asking for rebellion, honestly. Come here. <gasps> Nelly, oh, baby girl. Mom, make me what? Work. Not if you ask like that, David. Who is this? What? Nick has a sibling? Oh, Nick's got a brother. What have you been up to since Christmas? Got a girlfriend yet? I'll take that as an obvious name. Stop bothering him, David. I don't know how I feel. Just please don't tell him about Charlie. Oh, is he gonna be an asshole? Oh. See, I was so happy, now I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> ben. Oh, shit, they just started kissing? I feel like, I don't know. Oh, God, it's so hard. Cause you wanna be able to like warn Imogen, but then you don't wanna out Ben and Ben's such a dick and, <sighs> I don't know. I feel so bad for her. Wait, so much time passed. It was 44 days the first episode. Now it's only five. Charlie, what you doing, baby? This room is so echoey. I told Mr. Freak I borrowed your pen and needed to give it back. 
Are you okay with your brother and everything? Charlie, now's not the place to do this. This gym is so echoey. Stay in social world, boys. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't like this. Ben, what are you gonna say? You're gonna say something, aren't you? Because you're a piece of shit. Is he still as desperate as ever? Hey, how about you fuck off? You hate me so yes, much. Yes, I do. It's not my fault he liked me before you. That's not why he hates you. I hate you because you literally insulted him. I'm gonna fuck you up, Ben. That was just a misunderstanding. Uh, no. No. That's not. I was going through some personal stuff. I don't care. You hurt him, and who knows if you do the same with Imogen? Do you even like her? Sorry, am I not allowed to like girls as well as boys? Does Charlie know you don't want to come out? I do want to come right. out. Right. I'll believe that when I see him. You don't have to come out Charlie to every single person at once. You are just the same as me. No. He's not. Fuck you, man. You okay? Yeah. Uh, just, um... Just stressed about GCSEs. I'm definitely gonna fail maths on Monday. <laughs> Want me to help you revise? We can go for your notes together. That's not the kind of studying you need to do. But I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I love that he just grabbed him and said, I don't care, we're in the park, I'm gonna make out with my boyfriend. Love that for them. I love this. I love the happy moments. I'm so nervous that something bad's gonna happen. Oh my god, she looks so cute. Shut up, she looks gorgeous. Oh, I hope this goes well. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of making me feel more nervous. My application face. I haven't finished mine yet. Oh, same. I haven't even started. I'm oh, a babe. <laughs> I'm Naomi, by the way. I'm Elle. And this is Felix. I really hope I get it. I hope we both get it. Aww. I'm speaking it into the universe. She's manifesting. <laughs> I love this for them. Here I could just be Naomi. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I really do. I love this for her. Good luck with your exam today, Nick. Why are you dating Ben? It's Dick. He's, he's done some really bad stuff. What? What did he do? <sighs> I can't tell you. But Ben is one of the few people who actually likes me. But does he? <sighs> so whatever happened in the past, he's nicer now. He's really not, though. Ugh, I hate standardized testing. That was the worst. Oh, no. It's okay, baby. Oh god, I feel this so hard. Is he asleep again? <laughs> you can't watch a movie with him, he falls asleep every time. Do you want something to eat? Make us some dinner. No, I'll have something when I get home. I never have a cup of tea though. <laughs> You're such an old man. Hey! I love it. Hi. <laughs> Nelly does not like the brother. So I'm, I'm next older brother. God, he looks like a douche. I was just getting acquainted with, um, with Charlie here. Yeah, well, uh, we're busy, so you can go away now. I just wanted to meet the guy that, you know, that turned my little brother gay. I mean, I should have always known you don't have to be gay, really. I fucking hate him. I'm bi, actually. And so what? I'm bi, actually. So, <laughs> if you're gonna be gay, at least admit you're gay. I fucking hate him. What? I knew you would be like this. Like what? Like a homophobic prick. Guys, what is going on? Why did you tell him about Charlie? I didn't, darling. Mum didn't tell me. You left a picture of you two kissing on your bedroom wall. Come on, Mum, he's saying he's bi. I mean, what a load of absolute bullshit. David, please don't swear. He, he can't even admit he's gay. <sighs> My God, imagine what Dad's gonna say. He's such a, he's such a dick. I'm just being realistic. Right, boys, oh, I'm Nelly. I'm... Oh. I'm not okay. Oh God, and Charlie's gonna get in trouble. Where have you been? Nick's, I assume. I thought we'd agreed that you're gonna spend some time apart until you'd finished your coursework. He was worried about his exams. I just wanted yeah, to- Yeah, I don't wanna hear it. You are grounded for the rest of this term. And, and don't what? think about sneaking out or you won't be going on the Paris trip. 
Uh, I like his dad, not a fan of his mom. No, babies. No, you just met him though, babe. It's hard to stand up to someone when you just met them. Like, ugh. We got a little voice memo? Charlie, this is not your fault. I don't care what David thinks anyway. I mean, it was never gonna go perfectly with everyone. Coming out to my mom was amazing. But there are still awful people in the world, like my brother. Yeah. But I can handle it. I promise. It's so sad because the last episode ended with him talking about how he wanted to protect Nick and then he wasn't able to protect him from his own brother and ugh. Oh, it's so sad. Are you sad about Elle? Mama knows. You remind me of me and Dad. What? Mom, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> he was the calm one and I was the outspoken one. But when we were in the same room, it was like perfect harmony. I love that. So when we lost him, oh. I felt so unbalanced. It was like falling off a cliff. That's why he's so afraid of change. But if you're afraid of losing her, you have to fight to stay by her side. Yeah. Don't let her push you away. Show her you want to be with her. Also, I was not dead, so there's that. <laughs> that makes so much sense. I feel like I just learned so much about Tao's character in that one little conversation with his, him and his mom. I like Elle, okay? <laughs> Honestly, Elle can do better. And she probably doesn't even like me back. And this is probably going to destroy our friendship. It's going to destroy our friendship group. And it's going to leave me devastated for years to come. So this is a really selfish and stupid thing to do, but I'm going to tell her. Help me. Yay, help me. Oh, that ending made me happier. Things are happening, things are progressing. Oh God, this episode was a roller coaster for sure. Nick's brother, hate him. Don't like him at all, he sucks. Stinky butthead, don't like him. Ben. I just, I want Ben to do better, but he always lets me down and disappoints me. I'm really glad that we got to see more of Tao with his mom and that scene with his mom learning that his dad died. Like, I feel like that explains so much of why Tao acted the way he did in the first season. Why he's so afraid of change, of their friendship group changing, of losing people, of like, uh, it makes so much sense. I like Tao so much more as a character already this season. I feel like we're diving deeper and deeper into more characters other than just like Nick and Charlie and then like the Tara and Darcy. Like we're getting deeper into more characters. We're learning more about them. We're kind of expanding on who they are as people and getting more context and backstory and I really like it. I'm so excited to see where we go from here. I'm so excited to keep watching this season. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, for starting season two of Heartstopper. I can't wait to watch more with you guys. Be sure to stick around as I continue to watch the rest of this season over the next few weeks. I'm so excited. I can't wait to <sighs> probably have my feelings hurt, probably cry a bunch, probably feel all the feels. <laughs> it's gonna be a ride and I can't wait. I will link my season one reactions down below if you want to check those out. You are valid, you matter. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one for more Heartstopper. I can't wait. Okay. <laughs>